hello friends hope you all are doing well so this is uh, my next video in this high yield traction theory series okay so in this uh, 1.6 tts 1.6 video i will again explain uh, the concept of traction theory okay so uh, this is me so uh, moving ahead i was discussing the tractor tractive parameters I have told you there are five dimensions as parameter to describe tractive performance. I have already explained the concept of slip. I have already explained the concept of motion resistance ratio. Now in this video I will explain the third more parameter which is net traction ratio or coefficient of traction or also called pull by weight ratio. Fourth and fifth will be discussed in the subsequent videos. Okay. So moving ahead, here I will explain uh, the concept of net traction ratio or pull by weight ratio. It is also known as the coefficient of traction. COT also denoted as mu. Okay, so this COT is basically the ratio of uh, draw or pull developed by the tractor and dynamic reaction force RR. What is RR that I have explained to you uh, in my previous video? Please, if you don't know, then please go back and watch that video again. So, uh, this is the ratio of two forces. The, uh, the <coughs> nominator is draw or pull. And denominator is dynamic reaction force. Okay, so basically it is called pull by weight ratio. So uh, the question comes then: What is the drawer performance? So basically, drawer performance is the ability of tractor to develop sufficient amount of drawer pull. Okay, within the acceptable range of slip. So slip should not be too high and should not be too low in both on road and off road condition. So this is what uh, drawer performance is. Then what is drawer power? So drawer power is basically the power available at drawer of the tractor. Now what is the drawer of tractor? You pause the video, search on the Google what is the drawer, and you will find out. So the power available at the drawer is called drawer power. Now how to calculate the drawer power? So drawer power will be basically the multiplication of draft force and actual speed. This draft force I will explain it to you. Don't worry. Right now we just consider that drawer power will be draft force into actual speed of the tractor. So if you know the theoretical speed of your tractor and you know the slip value, then you can calculate the actual speed of the tractor. Now if you you are still in suspicion that how to calculate actual speed with the help of slip, then go back and watch my previous videos on slip. Okay. So uh, actually this is the drawer of a tractor. So you might have seen on the tractor this rod, this rod this thing and this thing so this is called draw bar so power available at it is called draw bar power so basically when you are pulling your tractor in your implement with the help of tractor then uh, the draft force is horizontal horizontal uh, component of pull force i have already explained something to you and the, to be multiplied by actual speed it will give you draw bar power okay so moving ahead how this uh, drawer pull is, uh, is varying with respect to slip. So on your x-axis, these are real slip, and on your y-axis, this is pull by weight ratio or coefficient of traction. So if you take any single graph, okay, suppose for 20 BN number, this is all our BN number, mobility number. If you don't know BN number, what is BN number? Then go back and watch my previous video. So if you take 20 BN number, 20 mobility number, then in that this case, once you start increasing your slip, slip your uh, pull by weight ratio or your pull will start increasing because your weight is constant so basically your pull is increasing because your pull is increasing so cot is increasing so once you, in, you increase your slip this cot will start increasing it will attain a maximum value peak value at some particular slip and after that it will become constant it will not vary after this okay so because of this uh, you remember you might have remembered that i have told you that some amount of slip is required now why that slip is required is because of this graph only if you come this side at lower slip value below 10% slip you see you are getting very less coefficient of traction so your tractor will not be able to produce sufficient traction at very less amount of slip okay but if you go at very high amount of slip after this 20 25% this cot will become constant this graph will become flat so after that you are not getting any benefit but still your slip is increasing so it means that you are wasting your power over here okay so this is this area is the optimum area so basically the 8% to 20% of slip or 15% of slip is the optimum slip to operate your tractor and that much slip is required to generate sufficient amount of pull to 
full year implement into the, into the soil so this is the bixus equation again for calculating the coefficient of traction you don't need to remember this equation and this is the mobility number equation as i have already explained it to you um, Wishmerlow's equation is required uh, for this, but that I will explain again to you uh, in subsequent videos. Okay, so this is the curve of pull by weight ratio versus slip. It will start increasing with slip, then it will attain a maximum value, and after that it will become flat or constant. Okay, once your mobility number will be reducing, your pull by weight ratio is reducing. So again, from here you can conclude that higher mobility number, higher will be your pull. And lower your mobility number, your lower will be your coefficient of traction or pull. Okay, guys. So uh, this is a very uh, important concept. This coefficient of traction is of extremely important in Indian condition. Uh, the range of coefficient of traction will be uh, something from 35 percent to 45 percent generally. Okay. Uh, so 0.35 to 0.45 at max. So this this is the range of COT we are we can get in Indian current condition. So here you have seen that drawer power is the multiplication of draft force and actual speed. So now the question comes what is draft force? So we will see what is the draft force. Okay. So uh, don't get uh, confused or don't don't get uh, worried after watching this photograph. Okay. This is this is the full body diagram of a tractor moving on a slope. This I will explain to you when I will explain uh, the concept of weight transfer and tractor dynamics. Right now you don't see anything else other than what I am I am telling you to see. Okay, you can see uh, the this pull here. So if you are attaching your implement in your tractor, then your tractor is pulling your implement and your implement is pulling your tractor. Okay, so on if you if you see on the tractor, this this will be the pull force which which, which will act at some certain angle. Which is respect to horizontal okay so if this angle is theta so this pull will have two component one will be horizontal component d and one will be vertical component v this v is called suction force i have already explained it to you you can go back and watch my previous video to know more about suction force okay and this horizontal component of this pull here this is called draft okay so basically this uh, draft is the horizontal component of pull so if this angle this angle is phi, then draft will be P cos phi because this is a force and this is theta component, so this component will be P cos phi. Okay, where P is the pull force, phi is the angle of angle of pull force. Okay, but uh, now the question comes: How will you measure your draft force? So there are two way. One is the field measurement, and other one is theoretical measurement. Okay, so how will you measure your draft force in field? So for measurement of draft of implement in field, you have to take two tractors in the field. One the first tractor will be your dummy tractor. And second, uh, second tractor you operate you will, uh, with your implement. Okay, so you you just attach your implement with the second tractor. Then in between first tractor, first tractor this one and second tractor you put one uh, load load cell, which will measure the amount of pull. Okay, so in first condition you just lift your implement fully. Okay, and then you then you just pull your second tractor with the help of your first tractor. Okay, you just start this first tractor, put it in some gear, and start pulling your second tractor in implement lifting condition. Okay, then you get certain amount of load in your load cell. In second condition, you put the, your implement at certain depth. Suppose 10 centimeter depth or 15 centimeter depth, and again you start your first tractor and start pulling that, and again measure your uh, load cycle or uh, your this uh, load cell data. Okay. So in second case, your load cell load load cell data will be higher than your previous condition. The subtraction of both these two will give you draft of implement because in first condition your implement is lifted, in second condition your implement is working. The difference will give you draft force in field. Okay, so this is a, a way to measure draft force in the field. But how to measure it theoretically? If you if you don't want to go to the field, or if you don't have any data, if you don't have any tractor. Or if you don't have an implement, okay, then you have to rely on equation given by ASEB ABE, which is American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers. They have given one empirical equation. So don't uh, get scared after seeing this equation. This is an empirical equation where uh, this FI is uh, basically FI is basically uh, your uh, this D is the draft force in Newton. This T is uh, your depth of operation in centimeter, 
this fi is soil parameters which are dimensionless parameters uh, this fi will be uh, 1 2 or 3 depending uh, uh, 0 or 1 or something like that uh, you can see it in ASAB paper if you want it I will uh, I will put that table in uh, if you want it then just ask me in comment section I will put that table for your reference okay so for hard soil it will be 1 this fi will be 1 for hard soil and if it is soft soil it will be less than 1 okay then uh, this a b c are machine parameters so if you there are asb has given table if you are mb plow then you have different value of a different value of b different value of c if you are cultivator then again you have different value of a b and c okay so this a b and c are dimensionless machine parameter or your implement parameter w is the width of machine in meter so as i told you this is an empirical equation so the unit of all these terms are extremely important so if you want your draft force in newton then depth you have to use in centimeter and machine width of machine you have to use in meter okay so in your questions just mind these if they are asking question on this then you just mind these units okay guys so here you can see that draft doesn't vary linearly with respect to a speed it is a complex thing uh, directly proportional also and directly proportional to a square also okay so then how draft will vary with a speed whereas s is this S is the track, uh, speed of tractor in kmph. Okay, so to simplify this equation, this draft and a speed relationship, uh, this is the simplified equation. This is also coming from here only. Okay, so d naught is the draft force at a speed s. Okay, and k is the constant depending upon soil and implement. So this is how draft will vary with respect to a speed. Now, what is this constant? is as i told you that this is a simplified form of this equation so this constant k consists of all these other parameters f i then a b and c okay and this then this w also and then this t also so it will become this constant is the combined effect of soil as well as implement okay so this is a simplified form so just remember this equation uh, this they will not ask they should not ask the uh, question on this but uh, for your concept clarity, uh, they might, they, they, they will, uh, you never know, they might ask you the question on this also. So just remember this equation and this equation and uh, just mind these unit values. Okay. So this is how you calculate draft theoretically. So uh, in this video, I have explained to you two things. One is the coefficient of traction, the concept of coefficient of traction in detail, and then uh, what is the draft force and how you will measure the draft force okay in next video i will uh, i will explain to you uh, the other traction parameters which is uh, gross traction ratio and tractive efficiency thank you very much guys for watching it patiently please like the video and uh, subscribe this channel and spread the word to your peer groups okay thank you very much for watching